All right, so in this video, we're going to learn how to create a new shape. We're going to learn how to manipulate that shape, and we're going to take a look at some of the Pro Builder preferences. All right, great. So in order to create a shape um, inside of Unity using Pro Builder, we're going to go over to where it says New Shape, and we're going to simply click New Shape. Perfect. The shape is in a distance, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the F key. I'm going to zoom up. All right, perfect. All right, so what is this shape? This shape is a Pro Builder shape. It's basically blue because it's not in the scene per se. It's, it's in our scene, but it's not ready to be utilized yet. Now, in order to do that, you have to hit the Build Q button. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the options we have for this particular shape. Now, here you have Show Preview. So what we're seeing here is a preview of our shape. So you can turn it off and on as needed. And so we also have an option to center the preview. So if, say, for instance, it's off-centered, you can hit this, and that'll bring it within your viewport. Next, you can actually change the shape. So for instance, if we select stairs, we have stairs. If we select arc, we have an arc. And within each object, it's going to have different properties that we can utilize, as you can see. Change the number of stairs if needed. You could change the width of the stair if needed, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go back to cube. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the F key. And so now that we have our cube, well, we need to make it active so we can actually edit this. So to do so, just go ahead and click on Build Cube. All right, perfect. All right, so now we have the option to build onto this cube, to add more to it, to edit it. And, and to do so, we have a menu right above us, and that's going to be our Edit menu. This is your object. So this is selecting an object. This is your vertices selection, your edge selection, and you have your face selection. This is going to be similar to what other 3D programs offer. So for instance, if we want to select the verts, click on verts, and now you have your, vert your vertices visible. And the same thing with the edge. Now you can select your edges, and as you hover your mouse, you can see those edges show up. And the same thing with faces. So when you select the face, it's going to light up as well. Let's go ahead and select object. All right, perfect. All right. So that is creating a new shape in Pro Builder. But before we just walk away from this, let's go ahead and manipulate this shape. So let's go ahead and use our face selection. And I'm going to select this face here. And holding down the Shift key, I'm going to click this tangent handle, this axis is going to be on the Y, I mean the Z axis, and I'm going to click and pull. Now by holding down the shift key and then dragging, what I did was basically extrude it. And as you can see, I'm doing a extrude operation. And I can do the same thing to pretty much any face. All right, perfect. And so with that, let's go ahead and edit the vertices. So let's go ahead and select on the vertices. All right. And so now I can just click and drag over the vertices and I can go on the Y and then I can maybe go to my edge tool and I can select the edge tool and make it similar, do something like that. And I could do something like this. And now we're just manipulating the edges, the verts, and the faces. And generally, you're just going to do this to help build your level, which is really awesome. All right, let's go back to the object mode. Now, you might have noticed when I was moving the, say, for instance, the vertices, the vertices are kind of snapping in place. It's not a smooth transition from one spot to the next. It's really just snapping. And that's because we currently have ProGrids enabled. But if I turn ProGrids off, it's going to turn off snapping. 
And this may be necessary for you to move certain things into the places that you need them into. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn them back on. And there you have it. We're snapping. Now, this is very useful for games who build levels with modular design in mind. Usually, say you're building a really tall building or some type of house, and you've already had an asset creator create walls and corners and floors and and ceilings and everything and everything matches perfectly as long as everything is snapping to the grid properly and this is where progress will come into play um, that's why building modular levels are just very useful because you can kind of you can build whole neighborhoods with as few as 10 different assets of walls and and floors and everything and that's with 10 objects and so that's really awesome and so, um, yes, having ProGrids here really helps in just so many different ways, but very specifically um, in the areas of um, having things modular and just lining things up also. All right. So something else we can take a look at in regards to the ProBuilder shapes are really the ProBuilder preferences. So to take a look at that, we can go over to Edit. We're going to go down to Preferences, and we're going to go down to where it says Pro Builder. Now, in here, I don't change a whole lot of preferences personally. Um, I pretty much keep everything on, on default, but there are a few things that you could utilize that can be very useful to you. Um, one of the things that you can actually change would be, instead of having the actual menu system be the actual description of the, the tool, um, you can actually have a GUI or icons and you can just simply turn that on and then you have different icons. Now you're going to get more icons depending on which mode you're in. So for instance if we go into vertex selection for instance you're going to get icons and modes available and active based on the mode that you're in. And that's super useful because you would hate to be in vertex mode, but you have icons from the face selection mode, and it just gives you an error message telling you, hey, you can't use this. And you're basically thinking, well, you have it there. Why can't I use it? So by only really showing icons or the modes available in reference to the actual mode that you're in is just very useful, and um, it's just a, it's really good to have. Now something else, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because I don't use that particular, I like to read this out. I just think it's a little easier to know exactly what you're selecting because it describes what you're doing. Um, but there are some other options here. For instance, if you don't like the location of this being right in the center panel, you can change that. You can put it on the left side. I probably wouldn't put it there, but you can put it on the right side if you want. You can put it on the bottom center as well. So you can move that around based on where you want it. Um, I, again, typically just keep everything defaulted. But again, everybody's going to work just a little different. Some other options. Um, maybe you're having issues with seeing the vertices. Maybe that gray isn't really visible enough. So you can change that. You can go from use Unity colors to use the Pro Builder colors. And they have it set up just like so. And that's super useful because now you can actually see it. And so when you select an object, it actually changes to another color. So for instance, unselected vertex color seems to be black and unselect or selected vertex color is blue. So for instance, say I think blue should be red. So now that I selected that, the vertex is red. But what if that is still not big enough because it's just so small? Well, you can increase that size as well. So we can just go ahead and increase the size of those vertex. And now you have something almost cartoon-like, but it's easier to see and uh, something easier you can click on as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep everything at default. All right, perfect. Now there's some other options here. Again, I don't utilize a lot of these and um, we probably won't go over everything, um, but there are some things like experimental features if you want to turn those on. Uh, just keep in mind, uh, like the menu says, you, you would enable some experimental features uh, that they're trying out, but 
you know they may be incomplete so you might crash your system if it's not working properly um, other things like your hotkeys and that let's see what else something else useful oh here we go unique mode shortcuts so for instance if you want to switch between vertex mode edge and face mode you might want to do that so now instead of having to click up here you might want to actually hit a hotkey so we're going to hit the G or I'm sorry the H key to get in the vertex mode the J key to get in the edge mode and the K key to get in the face mode and if you want to get back to the object mode you would just go ahead and hit the G key nice and so these are just some simple things that you can do to get comfortable with using Pro Builder and really honestly that's what this is about you know, this isn't about, um, you're not going to be a master at this overnight or anything, but being comfortable with the interface, knowing where things are, is just really important. And that's what this video is about. It's really about getting you comfortable with using something maybe you've never used before, or just showing you something you didn't know existed. And so that's really what this is all about. All right. So I want you guys to play around with this stuff if anything changes and you don't know how to change it just hit the reset key and start from scratch and that's really really useful go ahead and close this um, another thing you might want to just keep in mind is there is a tool bar here and of course you want to you can get to pro builder and pro grids options this way you have an about you get some documentation as well if you for some reason your your menu system is missing or if something's wrong you can just go here and you can just simply go pro build a window and that will reopen all of these options are still within this toolbar and you have different options here we're gonna go over a lot of these so don't worry pretty much what we learned today was how to create a new shape in unity using pro builder we understood you know this is the grid of uh, pro grids and we also took a look at the preferences and so that you can utilize that to kind of just help you get a better feel on what you're doing. And there could be some settings in there that you would feel more comfortable changing. All right, perfect. Well, in our next class, we're going to take a look at the new poly shape tool. And that's going to be this tool here. Feel free to play with it if you like. But in the next video, we're going to take a look at it and play with it and just kind of just briefly talk about it um, from a usability standpoint. All right, awesome. Talk to you guys soon.